Hi, I'm Luke Lango, and this is Investor Place Quick Picks, where we communicate to you some of the market's best investment ideas in just five minutes. Today, we're going to be talking about the hottest stock in the market. The name NIO, ticker N-I-O. Now NIO is a Chinese premium electric vehicle maker that is absolutely killing it today. China's EV market is booming, 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 booming. NIO makes the best in breed electric SUVs in that market. Uh, the company is selling a ton of those cars. Year over year growth rates have been in excess of 100% for several months now. So this growth story really is just hockey stick ramp. I mean, going crazy. And you see that in the stock price, right? Neo stock is up 2,000% in the past year. Yeah, it's up 2,000%, it's a huge gain. But here's the kicker, and it's really crazy to think about this. This massive rally in Neo stock has been driven entirely by China and nothing else. Right? Read any analyst note on NEO, read any media article on NEO, read any Twitter post, any Facebook post, anything you want on NEO, and it's all about how NEO is going to take over China, be the Tesla of China, dominate China's premium EV market. And they will, it totally makes sense, but nobody is talking about how NEO could also dominate America's EV market could also dominate Europe's EV market, could also sell into India, maybe even into Africa. Nobody's talking about this global opportunity for NEO. And guess what? NEO is gonna go global. Make no mistake about it. This is not just a China story. This is a global EV story. And as NEO goes from China to the entire world, as the growth narrative goes global, NEO stock well, you ain't seen nothing yet. The 2000% rally we've seen, there's a lot more to come over the next few years. Here's a deeper look. So to understand the big bull thesis on NEO, we have to understand why NEO is probably the second best EV maker in the planet. I hesitate there because it's actually kind of like 1A, 1B. Tesla's 1A, NEO's 1B. And the reason I say that is because if you just look at the specs of their cars, uh, driving range, zero to 60 get up time, payload capacity, the space inside, Neo's electric SUVs are literally rivaled only by Tesla's cars. They have 350 mile plus range. They recharge very quickly. They get to, from zero to 60 in about four to five seconds. No other EVs besides Tesla's cars have those specs. So Neo is blowing everybody in the world besides Tesla out of the water when it comes to making top quality electric vehicles. Now on top of that, Neo also has a great brand. They're selling these top notch high quality cars through a great brand. Much like Tesla has in the United States, Neo fostered great brand equity by creating this aura of exclusivity around the brand, creating things like fancy clubhouses where car owners could attend and get lunch and drinks and it's super exclusive and super fancy. So there's this sort of aura that like if I want or if I uh, can afford an electric car, and I want an SUV, I'm, I'm gonna get a Neo because it's super cool, right? The same kind of vibe you get here in Tesla. People who drive Teslas are cool in America. People who drive Neos in China are cool too. So there's that great branding. There's also great pricing on Neo's cars. Neo has mastered a battery swapping model where the car buyer doesn't own the battery. So essentially what happens is you buy the car, you lease the battery, and then as soon as it wears down, you go in and you swap and you get a new one. What this does is it takes the ownership away from the car buyer of the battery, which is a huge cost component, and it can cut prices of the electric vehicle by up to $10,000. So Neo is selling it's super high quality electric SUVs in China from anywhere between fifty to eighty thousand dollars. But Tesla's Model X, which is the biggest comparable, well, that's over a hundred thousand dollars. So it's way cheaper than its closest competitor. So you have great cars, great brand, great prices. Neo has a bunch of winning characteristics. Now those winning characteristics will definitely allow Neo to dominate the premium segment of China's electric vehicle market for the foreseeable future. 
But what it'll also allow the company to do is take that dominance and extend it globally. Naturally, the question you probably have is, well, why? Why can NEO go global with its suite of electric vehicles? And my answer, why not? NEO, as we said before, is only rivaled by Tesla when it comes to making electric vehicles. And US automakers, European automakers, they're miles behind the EV curve. Tesla and NEO are literally three, four, five laps ahead of these guys. So while these guys are trying to play catch up, but demand is already shifting for EVs, there is a huge opportunity for somebody besides Tesla to come into the market and steal a bunch of market share. That company's probably gonna be Neo. They have cars that are very comparable to Tesla's in terms of performance, in terms of look, in terms of aesthetic. They sell them with a great brand. They sell them at great prices. They have a genius business model. They have a bunch of resources. The growth trajectory is ramping in a way that would support international expansion. Make no mistake, it's going to happen. Within the next two, three, four years, NEO is going to go global. Their cars will arrive in America, they will arrive in Europe, and because they're so far ahead of everybody else besides Tesla, within five to 10 years, those cars are going to dominate the EV market in America and the EV market in Europe like they're dominating the EV market in China today. This, of course, has huge implications for NEO stock. Those of you who have followed my research before know that my long-term price target on NEO stock has long been $60. And that price target is based on a China-only model. It assumed 8% market share in China's EV market by 2030, leading to about a million deliveries for $40 billion in revenue and around $3.75 in earnings per share. Again, China only. But over the past few months, it's become increasingly obvious that NEO has the technical prowess and know-how to go global and will indeed go global. So I've revised my model to keep all those initial base assumptions about China, but also throw in my assumption that they will get 4% market share everywhere outside of China. So that NEO will get about half as big outside of China as they are in China. I think that paves the way for about over 1.5 million deliveries by 2030, up from my initial projection of a million, over $60 billion in revenue from my initial projection of 40 billion, and over $7.50 in earnings per share from my initial projection of $3.75. Based on this new model, which now factors in um, international expansion, I think the stock long-term price target, not 60, not 80, not 100, but rather $150. Well, that's all we have for this edition of Investor Place Quick Picks. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, please subscribe, smash the like button, follow us, or if you want to communicate with me one-on-one, -on -one, follow me on Twitter. The Twitter handle is right here. Oh, until next time, cheers and happy investing to all.